My name is Dmitry Kalagin. I'm a business and accounting faculty at Shabo College, and also I am the business department coordinator. So in this short video, I want to talk about uh, accounting programs at Shabo College. So this video targets those of you who are interested not in transferring to a four-year college, not getting a bachelor's degree in business or accounting, but rather getting a shorter certificate and maybe eventually pursuing an AS degree in accounting. Uh, and again, some of the classes within the degree will not transfer to a four-year school. The target here are those of you who would like to find a job after completing uh, just a few classes at Shabo College. And later, maybe continuing with your studies to get a bigger certificate and eventually the two-year degree. So this is the link to our website. And also, if you have any questions after this video, please feel free to email me at dkalagin, K-A-L-Y-A-G-I-N, at shabocollege.edu. So we offer three programs, three diplomas in accounting, and they all roll into each other. The courses that you complete within the first program called the Certificate of Achievement in Bookkeeping, uh, all of those classes except for Business 7 will be used towards the next Certificate of Achievement, Accounting Technician. So if you look at it, the first certificate consists of just seven classes or 20 units. Then you take actually three more classes uh, and you get the Certificate of Achievement in Accounting Technician and that one consists of 27 units or nine classes. Uh, so the Certificate of Achievement in Bookkeeping is a really short program. You can easily complete it in two semesters and um, you will be able to get an entry-level job in any accounting field such as accounts payable, accounts receivable or payroll. You can also have your own business doing books for a small business, doing some books, you know, bookkeeping as well as some taxes and payroll for a small business. The Accounting Technician adds some additional layers of uh, knowledge, skills, and abilities. And, you know, once you start working, you want to get a promotion, you want to move around. So the Certificate of Achievement in Accounting Technician will allow you to do that. And then you take additional classes, really three more classes in the major. So uh, in addition to your nine classes, you take additional three classes. Uh, for the total of 12 classes for the major, plus you complete general education or GE classes. I'll talk about it, five of them, and you will get a two-year degree, AS degree in accounting, and you have to have at least 60 units. Again, the difference between the certificate and the degree, we always suggest get a job, uh, and maybe your employer will pay for you to continue going to college if you want to get a promotion or if you want to move around in your profession uh, It would make a difference between just the certificate or and a two-year degree Now all three of these programs you will apply for there is a graduation uh, application uh, um, You can find it on the admissions and records website in, in uh, Shabo College from our website www www.shabocollege.edu and there is a deadline to complete that graduation application and it's listed in the class schedule. Uh, you will apply during your last final semester so you do not need to wait until you're completely done with your seven classes. In the last semester in which you're taking your last classes you apply for graduation and you will officially graduate that semester. So by the time you get your two-year degree, you will have three diplomas, you will graduate three times, you can have a graduation party three times, and you put all of these programs on your resume, which beefs it up and makes you more marketable and more attractive to your potential employers. So what are the KSA, knowledge, skills, and abilities that you will learn within each program? So here I list the KSA you will acquire when you complete the smallest first certificate in bookkeeping. You will know how to do double entry accounting. And again, these are the skills that you can list on your resume. You can, of course, edit them. You will have a knowledge and know how to apply the accounting principles that uh, are known as GAP, the generally accepted accounting principles. You will learn how to prepare federal and state individual tax forms. You will learn payroll function, payroll calculations, and how to complete 
payroll forms for a small business or a small corporation. You will learn how to create business communications such as letters, memos, emails, as well as resumes using word processing software. You will also learn how to use presentation graphics software such as, for example, PowerPoint to create and effectively deliver professional level level oral reports and also you will know how to use accounting software such as quickbooks and excel to create accounting reports financial statements as well as to run the whole accounting system for a service uh, or merchandise in small business i found the typo okay so in addition to these skills you learn all of them plus for the next level certificate the one that requires you to take nine classes. So you have seven classes in bookkeeping. One of those classes, business seven, is not counted towards accounting tech. So you take three more classes and you get the accounting tech. So in addition to all the KS sales, KSAs, knowledge, skills, and abilities that I listed, you will also learn um, uh, to understand business concepts, business economics, types of business ownership, business ethics, globalization, and various organizational functions, management, marketing, accounting, human resources, and finance. You will also learn how to use accounting information to make serious managerial decision in cost structure, cost behavior, cost volume, profit analysis, profit planning, budgeting, budgetary controls, cost controls, and ethics. And also you will know how to prepare federal and state tax forms for various structures uh, uh, of business, such as sole proprietorships, different types of corporations, and different types of partnerships. And then when you get the highest level of the program, the diploma, which is the AS degree in accounting, in addition to the previously listed KSAs, you will also learn how to solve ethical dilemmas, dilemmas in accounting, taxation, and auditing. You will understand and apply legal principles in regards to business transactions. And also you will learn specialized skills in an accounting area of your choice. So here you can see a uh, list of classes that are required for each certificate. So for bookkeeping, as I mentioned, you have to take the seven classes. They could be taken in any sequence. The only difference, the only, um, it's not a prerequisite, but strongly recommended is business seven. So I listed it first. So you should take business seven before you take business 1A as well as business eight uh, or business 93. You cannot take business 92, actually, without first completing either business 7 or business 1A. So, as you can see, all your classes are specialized. You do not have to take any math, any general education classes. Could be easily completed in two semesters. All of the classes are offered every semester with, uh, without exceptions. We offer them every se semester. Um, I think that most of these classes are also offered even in the summer. We teach all of them online and some of them are also in addition to online at Toton campus. So business 7, business 1A and business 14 are offered both on campus and online. All classes are offered, all the rest of the classes are offered only online every semester. The next certificate, so you add three classes. So you add business 12, business 1b and business 3b so i put here that before completing managerial accounting a prerequisite is business 1a you have to, a prerequisite means you have to pass the class with a c or higher a strongly recommended course means you don't have to take the course before but we recommend it as a department and guys before completing business 3b you also have to finish either 7 or 1a with a c or higher so these are three classes you have to take we offer all of them every semester with the exception of business 3b so business 3b we offer online only every uh fall semester only in the fall okay 27 units and then you add additional three classes in the major so you have to take business law you have to take accounting ethics we offer this class every spring it's not offered every semester and then you you make a choice so you choose out of this 
five specialized upper level accounting courses. So business 2A is intermediate accounting one, business 2B is intermediate accounting two. They could be taken in any sequence. You do not have to finish 2A to take 2B. They only have one prerequisite, which is business 1A. Business four is cost accounting, business five is auditing, and business 11 is government and nonprofit accounting. We offer each of those courses once a year uh, online and you choose one of them to get your accounting degree. And then guys, in addition to your major, you have to take five general education classes for the total of 15 units. So I got this information from page 26 in the catalog. So this is the catalog page 26 right here and at least different areas to uh, fulfill your general education requirements for any AS degree. So these are the areas, these are the classes listed. So this is my recommendation uh, for you. So the area A1, you have to complete English 1A, which is four units. The area A3 is already fulfilled with Business 14, which is a business communications course. That class you took as a part of your first certificate in bookkeeping. So we're not double counting the units, but we can uh, use this class to fulfill both your major requirements and your general education requirements. By the way, this same course also is the program-based G requirement right here, the area F. So it's a very good course. It completes you know, three different, it com it's, it's required for the major, for the area A3 and for the area F. For the area B, you choose uh, a minimum of three units from any natural sciences courses. Again, this is the catalog and so they list classes right here. You can also see the same list in any uh, schedule we publish as well as there are flyers in the counseling department. So you choose one course uh, with at least three units and the lab is not required. Uh, the next area is the area uh, C and be careful in this area. It's a list of classes in humanities, but you have to cross list them and I've done it for you so that the course fulfills humanities as well as the so-called American cultures graduation requirement. So even though there are a lot of courses in the area of humanities, I picked only those that also fulfill this American cultures graduation requirement. And I listed them for you right here, right? It's uh, Art History 7 or English 32 or Humanities 65 or Music 8 or Theater Art 14, nothing else. The area D, Social and Behavioral Sciences, already fulfilled when you completed Business 12, Introduction to Business, as a part of your major. The area E is just one unit uh, of wellness uh, classes, and I already talked about the area F. In addition to this, every student getting the AS degree has to uh, fulfill the mass proficiency graduation requirement. And there are a number of courses from the math department, but we recommend the math course that we offer from the business department in the business department, and it's business 19 business statistics. It's a four-unit course. We offer it every semester, both on campus and online. So the total of additional units here are 15. In order to get a two-year degree, you have to uh, get at least 60 units. So sometimes when you completed all your major classes and your general education requirements, you might fall below 60 units. So here I think if you go through all the classes that I listed, you will actually fall uh, four units below 60. Like if you add everything, if you've completed all major requirements and general education requirements, you actually are going to be, I think, at 56 units. So you cannot graduate with a two-year degree in California with fewer than 60 units. So you can take any class at Shabo, whatever interests you to get to those 60 units. Okay, so happy studies. Again, if you have any questions, email me at dk. A L Y A G I N at shabocollege.edu. And I want to see all of you graduating from Shabo at least three times if you're majoring in accounting. Thank you for your attention.